Hello guys and welcome to this news video. I'm Jux from Tech Cousins and today I'm going to show you a new graphics card and what has been leaked about it. That graphics card is actually Titan GTX 780 and I'm going to go through all the leaked stuff and information that is available on the internet at this moment <laughs> at the moment. So um let's get right into it. Alright, the first thing we are going to have a look at is that on a Danish web store there has been leaked a couple of different information. For instance, the price tag. For instance, we can expect it to be priced at 7,300 Danish kroners or $1,300 or 900 euros. Well, that is a rather high price tag compared to the 680, which is uh, pretty much half the price. But, um,. On the other hand, we are also getting three times this amount of RAM on your your graphics RAM, and of course that is also one of the reasons reasons why we are actually experiencing experiencing this kind of price tag. Um, other than that, we are also going to see 2,688 cores of CUDA cores on this graphic car graphics card and. Please notice that one there's one missing SMX from full GK 110, which is basically the architecture behind this card. And um, what that means is actually that it's not fully optimized yet. Either it is not fully optimized, or we are going to see a, another card, which could be GTX 785, which could be a even better card than this one. But this graphics card runs a 384-bit interface, which will give a better performance and more FPS on high-resolution displays. And we are also going to see uh, two DVIs uh, and one HDMI and a display port, which is pretty much what you will expect from any kind of card at this point, basically. And we. One of the more exciting things I actually think is that we are going to see this card in six days from the day this is recorded. So the 18th of February, we are going to see the first shipped or the first unit to arrive is set at February the 18th, which is awesome. And I'm going to, well, wait for it. And I'm really excited if this is correct and if it's a real information. But, um,. Not only this web store has some information to show you, also this Australian website has something else, and that is also the base clock. We are going to experience a 915 megahertz base clock, and also boost clock will be 1019 megahertz. RAM clock is probably going to be 6008 megahertz, which is like the current generation. Nothing will to Really, that much to mention. Actually, it's not that high, neither are that low. It's it's kind of what you would expect. However, the price on this website is rather well. It's hilarious how high this is. One thousand six hundred dollars. That is too high, I think. A a good starting point will be one thousand dollars. I believe that will be something like um we will going to see. So definitely that. It, well, I'm not sure why this price tag is that high but we also saw that with the um with the current generation so we are probably going to expect some sort of a huge price tag leap at some point but um yeah well we have some other information and because of the price we also of course thinking of a rather um powerful card and that it is definitely if these benchmark leaks are correct we can experience a 7377 x score in 3d mark 11 which is really really high um, compared to the gtx 680 it, which has um 3970 um x score in this benchmark which is an increase of 80 Five, 85 increase percent increase which is hilarious <laughs> it's it's crazy 
I mean, how this you're, we're going to experience some kind of really, really awesome graphics in the near future with this card. You can probably go and have like two GTX 680s, which will compare to this card. I'm serious. That will be what we're going to expect, I think. But um, well, I think that's pretty much what these benchmarks shows. Um, Another thing that has also been leaked is this GTX 6 or 780 PCB, which is um, basically what the card is going to look like. And as you can see, we have two slide connectors at the top, and we are also um, looking at a 1x8 pin and 1x6 pin power connectors, which is um, more than you would normally expect, I think, because normally we'll have two six pins but now we are also going to have one eight pin so we are having a card which consumes a lot of power and a lot of yeah I think it is not really a um, efficient card um, electricity efficient card but however it is really really powerful and I definitely think that one uh, the reason why we need that eight pin um, connector is because of the huge amount of power this graphics card actually has, which was shown in that um, that benchmark. So yeah, I think it's it's going to get crazy this one. But um, as you can also see, this um, this picture is rather blurry. But in the middle we have like um, a non-blurry and unblurry uh, spot, which shows the. Um, what the processor and you can see it says GK 110 and I think on the top it actually says Titan which could indicate that we actually look at the correct um, GTX 780 um, PCB for this card so yeah it is really exciting and <laughs> yeah well, probably going to look forward to this one um, however I've just made a uh, little conclusion of what you want to know about this card. So, um, the re release date, the 18th of February, which will be very, very soon. I think it's uh, six days it was. So, well, that is one of the main points of interest since the headline. <laughs> and the price tag will be $1,300 or 900 Euros, or if we go with the Australian website, it will be one thousand six hundred dollars, which is way too high. I think we should experience one thousand dollars. Except, I think that will be more appropriate. However, we are going to experience a clock speed of nine hundred and fifteen megahertz and a boost of one thousand and nineteen megahertz, which is rather okay. It is in like not not like the AMD card which can run like even higher megahertz but um well it is it is fair enough it's good cool um we are also experiencing that this card is going to have 6 gigs of ram which is hilarious a lot this is going to benefit the um the multi multi screen monitor setup which well a lot of those um yeah, more demanding players actually use for gaming and I think it is a cool thing to have multiple um, monitors and of course these RAMs run at 608 megahertz and of course um, one uh, 8 pin and one 6 pin power connector is also um, going to be on this card as we saw on the PCB. Um, I think that was the main point we actually wanted to have a look at. So, um, thank you for watching this video, guys. This was my first news video. And if you like them, well, then go like them, comment, and of course, subscribe them to the or to our channel, which uh, will just keep you up to date with the newest uh, from the tech world. News from the tech world, basically. And um, if you want to talk to us, any any person in this um, this group of cat tech cousins, um, you can join uh, Raid Call. Raid Call is basically a uh, Rentrilo like talking system where you can have your own little community. And we have actually joined with um, TCOS Gaming, which um, or who is actually doing a quite good job, and they are featured on our channel. And you should definitely go and check that channel out. But if you are um, if you want to talk to us, go to this link, um, as you can see as an annotation on the screen right now. When you're signed up, 
use the code um which is on the uh, screen right now, 5677464, which will uh, give you direct uh, access to our community, and you can then talk to us. And Juxi, me, will of course always be online as often as I can, which is rather often, um, but not from 8 in the morning to approximately 4 p.m., I think. And that will be... The time span where I am not available. However, besides that, I'm pretty much online. So, um, thank you for watching, guys, and see you in the next video.